Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. Word is born, love is love. Like, comment, subscribe, or do all the above. And if you ain't doing anything today, follow my IG, Ruga underscore Rose. We are here. All right. We are here today because uh, something happened yesterday. Because yesterday was Christmas. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Hope everybody had a safe holiday. <clears throat> but we got a... We got a... We, we got a little bit of a Christmas... I ain't gonna call it a gift. But we got a, a little bit of something. <clears throat> so. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Is now a three-time TNT champion. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't looked on Twitter. I haven't looked anywhere else to even know how everybody's feeling about this. For me, personally, I don't know how to feel about it. Because, okay, you got Sammy Guevara, right? You got, we're calling him one of the four pillars of AEW. Right, he's one of the four pillars at this point. He's one of those stars that AEW is going to grow to become a superstar. Right, that's kind of what we going with, right? And um, he won the TNT Championship against Miro, who was undefeated at the time. Un understand that? And he had a pretty pretty good reign, pretty good couple matches. Um, had. Good couple matches with the Jay Lethal and Tony Nese and uh, Ethan Page. You know what I'm saying? He had a good couple of matches with the title. So now the only question was, well, if he loses the title, he may lose it to somebody who, you know, could benefit more from it. You know what I'm saying? Like like off the top of the head, let's say, um, oh, let's say Jungle Boy. You know what I'm saying? Let's say if Sammy Guevara and Jungle Boy have faced one-on-one -on -one and Jungle Boy won the title, we'd be cool with it because Jungle Boy could benefit from that. Or, you know, if or if he lost to a... Uh, uh, um, I can't even think of anybody off the top of my head, but Jungle Boy was like the first person that came to my head. So, if he lo so if you, you know, those type of losses we're fine with. Cody Rhodes, however, doesn't need the TNT title because he already won it twice. What, what the hell is the third reign going to do is what I'm trying to figure out. And I was trying to figure this out this whole time. Why did Cody Rhodes need to win this title? Why do we need Cody Rhodes as TNT champion? That's what I'm trying to understand. Or is this just a, a symbolism for something? Because they, because they move. AEW moves to TBS. In two weeks. January 5th. Is the first that will be the first episode of AEW Dynamite on TNT. Now, mind you, a T I said TNT, didn't I? I meant TBS. I'm sorry, TBS. <laughs> I said TNT. Jesus, TBS. Too many T's. <laughs> so I really sit here and doubt and fail to believe that they're going to bring the TNT title to TBS. <laughs> Because that right there would be kind of weird. <laughs> but if TNT and TBS got this little bit of cross-branding, then okay. Okay. I think they do at the point in time, if not mistaken. But if, if, if TBS is cool with that, fine. But that's not the big issue. See, for my thing, I think it's probably symbolized as Cody winning it. Because Cody won the first time. Maybe Cody will retire it. Maybe we'll get a different title. Something different. I don't know. Because I'm trying to find an understanding as to why he needed it. Why does he need to be champion? Mark Henry said it himself before. He was asking. It looks like you got one foot out the door already. Because like he's becoming. Like Cody Rose is becoming. A, a cross. A cross brand star now. Like he's. He's on. Um. He's on a Go Big with the Go Big show um, on TBS, ironically. He's on, um, he's got his own reality show 
which reminds me, I need I need to watch that because I didn't really watch it that much. I only watched probably the first episode. Um, you know, like he he's already moving into that lane. So why exactly does somebody like him need the title? And he's established already. And why would you beat Sammy Guevara, who probably could benefit with a long reign? Because how long Sammy had the belt? How long Sammy has the belt? For what? About three months? Has it been three? I think he won it in October, right? October ish? October ish? September ish? October? Like about three, about three months, right? About two to three months? Yeah. So why is he loot? Like. Again, it's understandable if he loses it to somebody that needed it, or or somebody that could benefit from it. Like, like, all right. Um, Cody lost the title the second time to Darby Allen, and it skyrocketed Darby to where he could, where he should be a star, like one of the main states on in that promotion then darby lost it to miro and miro needed and miro could have used that to become this he was after that miro just started once miro left left the bad boy by his side not the bad boy i'm sorry he left uh what's the fuck's name it's uh Kip Sabian, there we go. <laughs> Once he left Kip Sabian's side, went on his own, started beating everybody up, then won the TNT Championship from Darby Allen in dominant fashion. And from there, Miro was elevating and elevating and elevating. Then Miro lost to Sami Zayn. I said Sami Zayn, Jesus Christ. Sami Guevara, yo, I'm going, yo, I'm thinking too much. Sami Guevara. Then he lost to Sami Guevara, Sami Guevara, and then Miro's undefeated streak and then boom sammy started becoming you know what i'm saying you see how the title is being given to people who can elevate it more you know what i'm saying that's how like you see how it is so now it's like you give it to cody rose what the hell is cody gonna do with that so that's what i'm trying to figure out now i'm hearing it i've been hearing it cody turning heels is it gonna happen i don't know if, it, if it's going to happen, it's a very, 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 very slow build. A very slow build. Um, I mean, if he turns heel, then fine. I don't know the ratio of heels and faces at the specific point in time in AEW, but um, I don't know if making Cody a heel at this point in time is the best, is the best move. Maybe it is in a sense because of, well, the fans are really kind of giving him the the half yay half boo treatment so it's like well if you make a full heel then you can just boom you know what i'm saying just take the half away just make it whole you know what i'm saying but i'm not sure i don't know um i don't know i guess we'll find out as time goes on we will find out as time goes on i don't know what this is honestly i didn't Honestly, I was watching that whole match. I did not think Cody was going to win. But the minute Sami Zayn, Sami, Sami Guevara. Why am I thinking Sami Zayn in my head right now, bro? Damn. But the minute Sami Guevara missed, missed the 630, then Cody hits a, a crossroads. And when he hit that crossroads, I'm like, ah, right, he's about to pin. He's about to pin Sami. Sami going to kick out. You know what I'm saying? Then he gets up. And he still got him. He's going for another crossroad. I'm like, oh, okay. I think Sammy still will kick out. I still believe in Sammy. He still might kick out. Then he goes for crossroads for a third time. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And then he sets up for what it looked at first, looked like a pedigree. I was like, Oh, now you're trolling. <laughs> now, 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 now you're trolling. Okay, now you're trolling. All right, okay. But it wasn't the pedigree. It looked like a pedigree, but it set up for the Tiger Driver in 1998. And Cody Rhodes is 
So now a three-time TNT champion. I guess we'll find out what happens on Dynamite on how this whole thing goes. Um, I get a feeling he even might... Ve like, I feel like he either might vacate it or he's retiring it. Like, I feel like there might be a new title on the way. Because they're moving to a new network, I feel like the t a new title's on the way. And Cody want to be the one to retire it. Be like, since we're moving to a new network, this is no longer the TNT Championship. And then we got TBS Championship for the, for the, for the women. So you can't really brand, you can't rebrand it to the TBS title because you already got one for the women. So now it's like, okay, well, what the hell do you do now? Like, so I don't know what Cody's going to do, but, um, hey, <laughs> he's champion. So I don't, <laughs> who knows? I don't know, but we'll find out as time goes on. We'll find out on Dynamite. But until then, it's been Rose, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. As always, gear up for this week because I got a lot of videos coming because this is the final week of 2021. 2022 is this coming Saturday. So trust me, I got a lot of videos on the way. We're going to talk about WWE in 2021. We're going to talk about AEW in 2021. And of course, day one pay-per-view is on Saturday. So I got to do the predictions this week as well. There's a lot going down. Get ready for it. So until next time, peace, love, want it. You're it.